council meeting. Please call roll. Council Member Abdelgawad. Here. Council Member Barber. Present. Council Member Burke. Present. Council Member Holman, absent. Council Member Hubach. Present. Council Member Kellogg, absent. Council Member Moorhead. Present. Council Member Stevens. Present. Mayor Kirkhoff. I'm present. We do have a quorum. If everybody please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we do have a presentation. Whereas sexual violence is a devastating and intolerable crime affecting women, children, and men of all races, ages, culture, cultures, and social and economic status, and whereas one in six women and one in 33 men will be the victim of rape or attempted sexual assault during their lifetime, and current estimates suggest that no more than 20% of sexual assaults will be reported to law enforcement, and whereas research shows that victims are far more likely to disclose their sexual assault to a friend or family member, and when loved ones respond in doubt or blame, victims suffer additional negative effects on their physical and psychological well-being. And whereas the city of Raymore shares a critical concern for these victims with, uh, with advocacy groups such as the Metropolitan Organization to counter sexual assault and other organizations throughout Missouri and the nation, and whereas by the, the Start by Believing Public Awareness Campaign, a program of end violence against women international is designed to improve responsiveness of friends, family members, and community professionals so they can help victims engage the criminal justice system and access supportive resource. Now therefore I, Peter Kirkhoff, Mayor of the City of Raymore, Missouri, do hereby proclaim the month of April 2016 as sexual Assault Awareness Month in the city of Raymore. And I encourage all citizens, schools, law enforcement officers, advocates, and interested groups to observe Sexual Assault Awareness Month with appropriate programs and activities that promote awareness and prevention of the crime of sexual assault. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, so I just, I'm Brandy, and I'm with MOXA, um, and I just want to to thank the city of Raymore and the Raymore Police Department um, for taking part in the Start by Believing campaign. Um, and like you said, it's a uh, community awareness um, campaign to help sexual assault victims. Um, you know, when the first person they report to makes a big difference in their healing process and then if they want to report to Forget the Police and they feel like, you know, he believed me. Um, they're going to be more likely to do a policy rape and report, and that will hopefully take a rapist off the street. Um, but that's not just with the police, it's with the whole community. You know, you may be a friend of somebody, and they disclose to you that they were sexually assaulted. Um, so as a community, the Raymore community, it's awesome. It's great what you guys are doing. Um, so I, I'm here to thank you. Um, Moxa thanks you. So thanks. Staff reports. Thank you, sir. I would ask that Mr. Kraft make a report for the Public Works. Thank you, Mr. Fairborn, uh, Mr. Member, uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the Council. And, uh, I want to just supplement my written report with a couple of items. Uh, the contractor started working uh, today on the uh, 
sewer repair along Silvertop Lane. They uh, dug a couple of uh, pits for the jacking equipment and started uh, assembling some of the pipe. We anticipate uh, the work to take about three or four more days. Uh, the mud jacking trailer gets delivered tomorrow and our crew will um, hopefully start, start working on that project in the uh, Fox Haven area shortly. We received some uh, inquiries regarding uh, restriping a 58 highway as we, council is aware with the, the uh, striper we purchased last year. Uh, we intend to stripe, uh, freshen up that striping twice a year. We are kind of delaying that work, uh, waiting to see the outcome of the general obligation bond election. If the road is uh, uh, overlaid, then striping will be included with, with that work. So we're holding off on that for a little bit. Uh, also, uh, Operation Greenlight completed the modifications to the Johnston Drive 58 Highway intersection traffic signals that occurred about two weeks ago. So I think there's been a change in operations there and have not really noticed any significant impacts on with delays on, on 58 Highway. Uh, with that, that concludes my report and I'm available for questions. Questions of staff? Mr. Kress, I've noticed significant impact it's in the positive um, at the Johnson Drive in 58. Uh, um, I, I enter into the intersection a lot more comfortably. I noticed other cars are doing too, that too. And as I've gone around Silver Lake the uh, last couple of weeks, I've had uh, some actual comments about that asking, did you guys do something with that? So anytime uh, anybody even pays attention to stuff like that, that, that means you guys are doing good. Um, the, I do have a question though. We had that large project on Johnston Drive last year and I know that in the fall there was kind of some, some finalization with the expectation we'd be coming back in the spring. Um, can you give us, me kind of a time frame of you know, when we can, homeowners can expect some of that final part to complete itself? Um, hopefully in the next six weeks or so. You know, we've had an extremely mild winter, but um, it, it still is the end of March and the growing season and, and things like that really start starts in April and in, into May. So uh, we are in the process of uh, soliciting the services of a landscape contractor to complete that work. And so we, we certainly hope in the next uh, six weeks or so we'll have that work completed. Other questions? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Grass. I would ask Ms. Halk to make a report for the Arts Commission. Good evening. I'll just quickly run down the report for March 2016 from the Arts Commission. Um, at the April 11th meeting, the next art exhibit in the City Council Chambers will open. Raymore resident Claire Carson will have her, or excuse me, Carlson will have her um, photographs on display in the chambers through uh, the middle of June. Um, Mike Eakey and his committee continue work on summer scene, which takes place on June 11th. He'll be here in April to provide a more in-depth briefing to you all about that event and what will be taking place. If you recall, that replaces the uh, former Art in the Park event that the city has hosted in the past. Um, the Arts Commission has also added a special uh, brainstorming workshop on May 3rd. This was in response to their joint meeting with the City Council and the results of their uh, strategic planning work. They are now ready once you guys have adopted your, um, your portion of your strategic plan, start working on tying it all together so that they can create their plan and budget for the upcoming year. And finally, um, the big kickoff that happened this weekend was for the 2016 pop-up art project, Relax and Raymore. The Arts Commission is hosting a citywide art project that will involve decorating Adirondack chairs and placing them throughout the community. There's more information online at www.raymore.com backslash pop-up art. Um, that link will be all over our website and all over our social media sites. But essentially how the program will work is that residents and businesses will provide their own Adirondack chair. It can either be wood or plastic and decorate that chair. They can get, then register, register it for free with the city and we'll provide a map of where all the chairs will be placed throughout town. So it can be in your yard, it can be at a business. Um, we're asking of course that they not be put on public property, although the city will be doing a few chairs of our own, including uh, constructing and painting a very large Adirondack chair that will be at TV Hannah Station this summer as part of the kickoff at Summer Scene. Um, we do have two special events that will be hosted in coordination with the pop-up art project. 
The first is a decorating clinic that will be presented by Lowe's. The staff at Lowe's will teach people how to decorate the Adirondack chairs, what different products are available, including how to prime your plastic chairs so you can paint them. Um, and then we will be host, and that will be on April 16th from 9 to 10 a.m. And that's free, but Lowe's does ask that people register, and there's a link to do that on our website. Uh, people who attend that clinic will also receive a discount for purchasing their Adirondack chairs. So we're very thankful for the support of Lowe's for this project. And then on May 14th from 10 a.m. to noon at Moon Valley Park, we'll be having a painting party. So this is an opportunity to bring your chair and any supplies that you have um, and paint kind of as a group. We'll have artists from Tri-County uh, Art League on hand to help you decorate and to help kind of brainstorm some different ideas. If you're not decorating a chair, but you're a painter or artist and would just like to come create with the camaraderie of others, anyone is welcome to attend that event as well. Um, so lots more information on our website and I'm happy to answer any questions that anyone has about this project. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next week's uh, uh, council work session, uh, the schedule for this particular one uh, to date, uh, just two items on, uh, we will be, at, I would like to have a conversation with the council about the front entrance to City Hall. Uh, you may remember we've had several projects that we were going to be starting out there, including a lighting project and some of the entrance planting. And I, I know it sounds a little bit uh, mundane, but we get a lot of calls about the front entrance of City Hall and how it looks. And, and I, I have to admit, I did pull the lighting project um, because I I considered it to be a little bit too expensive and asked that it be added into the CIP for next year. But the more I'm thinking about it and the more from a, a front entrance look and the, the image that we're trying to project while still being frugal, I, I'd like to get some council input into it because it's your place of business. Um, also, uh, we would like to have a, for some of the council who, who remember this, uh, Many years ago, we had a pretty serious conversation with the council about the comp cities that we use on all of our surveys, and we do a lot of extensive surveys. So, and it, that merits a revisit at this point with the amount of growth that we have, have seen. And some of the cities that you would think that we would be comparable with when you start looking at other factors like their budget and their staffing, we really don't match up very well. And then there's also the cities that that we kind of like to be able to match up to in the very near future. So we, I'd like to have a conversation with the council about both of those and get your feedback and your input. Those are the two items that will be on for next week. Uh, just some other information for the council. Um, the uh, uh, council will be getting your email tomorrow from me the commissions will also be getting an email from their respective, like the Arts Commission will be hearing from Ms. Howe, uh, relative to the possibility of, of uh, getting some of you all to volunteer at the polls next week. And we'll have a link to a sign-up sheet. And we've identified three primary times uh, for each of the poll locations, uh, 6 o'clock to 8 in the morning, 11 o'clock to 1 in the afternoon and 3 o'clock to 7 in the late afternoon hours uh, just looking for volunteers to go and work the, the polls and hand out some of our informational flyers. That concludes staff reports. Thank you. Move on. I'll accept the Motion to dispose of the consent agenda. Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve the consent agenda to include item A, City Council minutes for March 14, 2016. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Motion passes unanimously. Move on to unfinished business. We have the second reading of Bill 3153 by title only. The second reading of Bill 3153 by title only, an ordinance approving the tax increment financing redevelopment agreement between the City of Raymore, Missouri and Raymore Partners, LLC, for the Highway 58 and Dean Avenue tax increment financing redevelopment plan. 
Do we have a motion? Mr. Mayor, move that we approve Bill 3153 for the uh, tax increment financing redevelopment agreement for 58 Highway and Dean Avenue. Passing. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the second reading of Bill 3153. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Motion passes unanimously. Uh, the second reading of Bill 3152 by title only, please. The second reading of Bill 3152 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, approving and authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Mid America Regional Council for the acquisition of aerial photography for the City of Raymore, Missouri. Do we have a motion? Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve Bill 3152 for the Mid America Regional Council aerial photography project. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the second reading of Bill 3152. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Motion carries unanimously. We have the second reading of Bill 3155 by title only, please. The second reading of Bill 3155 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, providing for submission of a proposal to discontinue application and collection of the local sales tax on the titling of motor vehicles, trailers, boats, and outboard motors that were purchased purchased from a source other than a licensed Missouri dealer to the qualified voters of the city for their approval at the primary election called in to be held in the city of Raymore on Tuesday, August 2nd, 2016. Do we have a motion? Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve Bill 3155 for the out-of-state vehicle sales tax ballot question. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the second reading of Bill 3155. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Oh, is there a question? Is this still yes means no and no means yes? It is, sir. Okay. So. Okay. All in favor? Motion carries unanimously. We have a second reading of Bill 3150 by title only, please. The second reading of Bill 3150 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with American Mixers and Plants LLC for the purchase of a three-yard pintle hitch trailer mounted concrete mixer in the amount of $28,000. Do we have a motion? Mr. Mayor, I will attempt to read this with the passion that Mr. Holman desires, that we approve Bill 3150, the purchase of a trailer mounted concrete mixer. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Motion carries unanimously. We have the second reading of Bill 3156 by title only, please. The second reading of Bill 3156 by title mm -hmm. only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to execute an amended employment agreement with Jim Pureborn for the services of a city manager, authorizing approval of this ordinance and execution of the contract herein for city manager for orderly administration of the legal, administrative, and contractual matters of the city. Do we have a motion? Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve Bill 3156 for the approval of an amended employment agreement with our city manager. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the second reading of Bill 3156. Is there any discussion? All in favor? We have unanimous. All right, that moves us on to new business. Maybe we have the first reading of Bill 3149 by title only, please. The first reading of Bill 3149 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Superior Bowen Asphalt Company, LLC, for the mill and overlay portion of the 2016 Street Preservation Project, City Project Number 237-201, in the amount of $827,041.16, and authorizing the city manager to approve change orders within established budget constraints. Staff report. Thank you, sir. I'll call Mr. Krause. Thank you, Mr. Fearborn, uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the council. I um, wanted to take a minute. I'm going to be broadcasting some information to council. I wanted to take a minute and supplement in some of the information that we discussed at the recent work session regarding this year's street, um, street preservation project. Uh, this contract uh, entails award of the work that is shown uh, in red on the map and as which is the mill and overlay portion of the project the uh, 
if council will recall, we also discussed some other aspects of the project that are going to be incorporated uh, this year, one of which was uh, going back and fog sealing the, uh, the streets that were crack sealed last year. And also there were some questions about what impact uh, has been, uh, what, what impact of the additional funding that's been uh, allocated to this project have made on the overall, overall street, street network. So I'll, I'll start with um, the funding impacts. This is what, um, what the network was projected to be if we had maintained the funding several years ago at the $650,000 level. As you can see, there are uh, a number of streets that are in the poor, very poor, and uh, failed, failed category. And with the additional dollars, you can see uh, as of last year, the uh, after we re-updated re the program based on the work that was completed, we, the um, street network, there is the, we've been able to maintain the network without any of the streets falling into that failed or poor or, fair, poor or failed category. Moving forward, uh, projecting to the end of this year, we're also able to maintain that same status of the, of the network and with some slight improvement in, in some areas. So the additional dollars is, is helping us maintain the, the overall condition of the, of the network. Um, also, I tried to describe the fog seal process that we're gonna be incorporating, but I thought some, some slides would help. As, I, as we've indicated, crack sealing is a very important part of our maintenance program, but we do, we do have some concerns occasionally about the aesthetics. So this is a, uh, a typical street after it's, it's been crack sealed. So what we, the additional uh, step we are proposing is a, is a fog seal. You can see here the uh, airport, in a, at, it's an example of an airport where you can see where they are fog sealing over the crack seal. It gives it more of a uh, uniform appearance. It also rejuvenates the surface asphalt a little bit and keeps the, seals the smaller cracks and keeps the aggregate, aggregate in place. Uh, typically it is applied on our streets with a, with a distribu distribution truck as shown here. Um, you can see the kind of before and after. It does seal in and, and prevent some of the oxidation that occurs on the asphalt pavement. This is a picture of a finished finished product that a street that has been fog sealed. So that will be bring we will be bringing that program forward with the microsurfacing portion of our work as a separate separate contract. Uh, what we are bringing forward this evening with the uh, mill and overlay portion of the project um, is a contract where council last year we entered into a multi-year contract with Superior Bowen where the, the prices prices were uh, locked in and we are recommending that we do utilize Superior Bowen uh, this year. They performed satisfactory last year. The pricing is still um, competitive and so we do a recommend award of this portion of the contract to them in the amount of $827,041.16. That concludes my staff report. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the first reading of Bill 3149. Is there any discussion? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I don't want to take a lot of time, but I do want to let Mike know. I really appreciate kind of you taking that step back and answering some of the questions we asked during the work session. That was really helpful. Thank you. All in favor? Motion carries unanimously. We have the first reading of Bill 3154 by title only, please. The first reading of Bill 3154 by title only, an ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, approving and authorizing the mayor to enter into a guaranteed pricing contract with Little Sports Shop to provide screen printing and embroidery services. Staff report. Thank you, sir. I'll call on Mr. Mustine. Thank you, sir. Mayor, members of council. Uh, what you have before you tonight is a contract. It's a one-year contract with the option to a renew for an additional one year, twice, totaling a three-year deal, um, provided all parties are um, pleased with the uh, product and the services. This particular contract is with Little Sports. It is a joint contract between Public Works and Parks and Recreation 
for the screen printing and embroidery of our day-to-day -day staff uniforms and our athletic league uh, uniforms and, and um, just our gear, anything that we would put our logos on, things of that nature. Uh, we did uh, present this for uh, proposals. We received eight proposals. Little Sports, after we did a shopping cart survey sample of, of goods, Little Sports did provide the most complete proposal with the best lowest price. So staff is here to recommend Little Sports for this one year contract. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve Bill 30. Sorry, Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve Bill 3154 for an award of contract for screen printing and embroidery services. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Motion carries unanimously. Yeah, the first reading of Bill 3157 by title only, please. The first reading of Bill 3157 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, approving and authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Pepsi Beverages Company. Staff report. Thank you, sir. I'll call on Mr. Mustine. Thank you. Again, this is a uh, contract with Pepsi Company for the vending services and the concession beverages for our concession stands. This includes all vending machines in city uh, in the city facility. So the the machine at Public Works, the machine downstairs at City Hall, and any of the uh, future facilities that we would put vending machines. We sent this out to bid uh, for proposals. We did receive one through Pepsi. We, uh, we cross-referenced that with the requirements when a sole source bid has been, been received and it did meet all the requirements. One thing to note with this particular contract, Coke was the former um, company that we contracted. They did not submit a bid and when we talked with Pepsi, we were able to negotiate a higher percentage for the ERC portion of the vending machines, and we also were able to increase the donation from Pepsi to the parks for special events by $1,000. So staff recommends Pepsi for this contract. I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve Bill 3157 for an award of contract for beverage vending. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the first reading of Bill 3157. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Motion carries unanimously. That takes care of new business. I'll open the floor for public comment. Please identify yourself for the record and keep your comments to a maximum of five minutes. Seeing nobody come forward, I'll close the public uh, comment and move on to Mayor Council communication. This evening, with Council Member Kellogg being first. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, no comment. Council Member Kubach. Yes, in the strategic plan, they mentioned that they wanted to have a, an activity center, and I would like to encourage the uh, Council to make sure that the, the building is a, what, an F5 for tornado uh, protection. Uh, we might even be able to get a grant to help us along that. Councilmember Barber. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, <coughs> some of you may or may not know, but uh, con uh, competitive soccer is back in Raymore. Um, it's through our Parks and Rec Department. If you'd like some more information on it, uh, contact Parks and Rec, uh, and I believe the point person is John McLean to get that information. Uh, and since my colleague in Ward 3 is not here tonight, Mr. Holman, I don't have to ask his permission to talk about him, but uh, this team is coached by Councilman Holman. The name of the team is Raymore United Nitro. Uh, they're in the Heartland League, uh, boys 16 and under, Division 5. Uh, Jay has 19 boys on the team, and they are from Raymore and various cities around the metro. And if you'll ask Jay, he'll brag on every single one of them. He's got a good group of young men there. The team has a, the, the best record in the league at 3-0. and They're undefeated right now. And they'll be doing some tournaments that will be separate from their league play. So if you'd like some information about games scheduled, uh, where they're at and what time, so forth, please contact Parks and Rec. If you'd like to help in some way, feel free to contact Jay Holman. Uh, his uh, contact information is on the city website. So thank you. Councilmember Burke. 
I just have one thing. Uh, I think this first time in 14, 15 years that I was unable to attend the city's uh, Easter egg hunt, and I made sure I did not remind my children that they were missing it because they would have been upset. But I'm sure it was a success as always. Councilmember Moorhead. Thank God nobody behaved like the Pez Easter egg collection. Um, I, I want to thank Brandy from Moxa. Um, sexual assault awareness is a, a very um, important issue, and and silence can victimize as much as anything. So I was very glad that we uh, were honoring them in the month of April, and I appreciate her coming out for that. Um, I had the opportunity to sneak into the back of the Arts Commission meeting a couple months ago, so I was aware of the Adirondack chairs, but I was sworn to silence, and, and Ms. How can attest, I did not tell anybody, but I am excited about uh, this uh, art project, and um, my artist wife w is already probably scheming and plotting, um, so I'm excited about that. Um, as for working the polls, um, and I think the Sunrise Optimists will attest to this. I really want to uh, express my appreciation for any other council member who would love to work the six to eight shift in the morning. Um, I do see six o'clock once a day, and uh, but uh, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, uh, joining my other council members. And this leads into the last thing, and, and this is kind of our last fiscal year, not fiscal year, election year public meeting for us. Um, our next public meeting, we may be the same nine. We may not. Um, but nonetheless, I, I remember last year, um, one of the comments that was made was that we, we would like to really embrace uh, a little civility, a little more civility. And I really have to commend every single member on the dais because I really felt we did that. And I really felt that uh, we produced some really good work product from that. And when I say civility, that doesn't mean we have to agree. Even I enjoyed some of the disagreements. I thought we were very productive. Um, I'm excited leading into issues that we have uh, on April 5th and, and what could come from that. And, and so I, I guess I just want to, uh, we always thank staff. I want to thank the other council members for really a good year and and i look forward to next year as well although i may not be here i'm still trying to convince my wife to vote for me so um we'll see how that goes so uh, thank you very much council member abdel gawad thank you mr mayor uh, i think that derek stole my paper and read all the stuff i was going to say without <laughs> jay here to protect me so <laughs> um I was just gonna say kudos to the Arts Council. Um, all this stuff coming up sounds really exciting. I'm excited to hear Lowe's getting involved and several community projects. I know that's what we keep hearing from people is give us some things that we can do together, some things that we can do to get to know one another. And so I'm excited about um, these things that are coordinated by the Arts Commission, the, the chairs, and then also the summer scene coming up in June. Um, excited to see the city recognizing sexual assault awareness month that's that's pretty awesome as well and then finally i was going to say don't forget to vote on tuesday so we'll see you guys at the polls councilmember stevens thank you mr mayor i didn't really know this but this is kind of an interesting thing to know until good friday it was also congressional medal of honor day i didn't really know that but uh, i thought that was kind of interesting uh, a bunch of you guys have been missing these community for all ages meetings. It's something that's uh, going to be coming up, so I uh, probably ought to kind of look into that. And a second, Mrs. Abdelwad, get out and vote, please. Well, I could say everything that everybody has already said, or I could say a couple of new things, such as that fog ceiling. Uh, I can see where. Lots of residents are going to want their roads fog sealed because it makes them look so nice. And I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Mayor, I move to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor? We're in adjournment. <laughs>